Hi, um, Fernando. Uh, I'm talking Hi with there. Fernando Velasquez, our composer of uh, of Sergio. Um, Fernando, where are you, and how are you and your family keeping in these strange times? We are in Madrid, which is quite quite a focus of the thing, and. Um, uh, that's funny. I mean, it's not funny because the situation is serious, and and and, and um, but there is a funny side of it is that a composer's life is quite like this. Unless you go out for a session, you are just in your studio working and working and working, and you see nobody. Um, you go. You don't go out. <laughs> you don't meet anyone. It's so. so the, in, in, in a funny way, a quarantine is a little bit the same for a composer than working in a project. Yes. <laughs> so it is so strange the way the process of um, the creative process works, particularly in a film like Sergio, where we've spent a lot of time just like this talking on, on Skype, um, um, but we actually didn't meet until very, very late in the process. Um, yeah. Is that is that normal? And how do you actually approach a film when you begin working on on the music? Mm -hmm. What's your own process? I think it's one of the process where, of course, face to face is nice and it can be very productive. But the most important thing is to work hard to understand what is the director's view and try to honor it with with your work. So um, in Sergio. For me, uh, the, <clears throat> I knew the script, I knew the story, I saw the documentary that you had done before. Um, but until I saw the first long cut, you know, the first assembly of the whole thing, I was really unable to imagine what on earth we would be doing for the movie, what, what kind of yeah. music. Because of course I know the documentary you did, I know, um, I know the script and I know the story, but there is something so, so, so vital for me that comes from the performances of the actors and actresses and the pace, even the, the sound of the voices is so suggesting and important. And um, I don't know, it's like, it's like the, for me, the real start point is the movie itself, is the, is the, 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 the film, the, moving images of course i can imagine something with the script and i love to do it but it's quite speculative because um, yes. because maybe i imagine something i actually i was imagining something more um i would say more a little bit less emotional for Sergio. yes yes um, but then when i when i saw the movie i wouldn't say the performances because of course they are performing they're actors they are playing but it looks so real and so, um, you know, um, it's not like a documentary, it's not like a movie. No, It's like people totally you know and people you like, and it's uh, someone you would like to meet and someone who, whose story you want to hear and, and see. Yeah. And it's, it's funny because at some point I, I was feeling a little awkward, like it was, uh, especially in the relationship, um, with Sergio and Carolina. Yeah. yeah, with Sergio and Carolina. That I, I, I was feeling like I shouldn't be watching this. It's too intimate. This is like, <laughs> yes. you know, like, yes. if I was, <laughs> like if I was watching some couple that I know and, and I shouldn't be there knowing what it's happening. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but from this also came um, um, some uh, music that it's probably more emotional than what someone would expect for a documentary. How do you decide what palette you're going to use when you, when you then find the emotion that you want to convey? How do you decide then what you're going to act, what the music's actually going to sound like? It's some kind of alchemy, some kind of magic, yeah. because um, you never know what it's going to really until you find it and, and it's try and error for 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 most of the times um but there, there is there is something funny is when when performances are good when the story is working um actually very little is a lot <laughs> <laughs> yes yeah even even just a note just a string note or even a synthesizer note like Mm. Yeah. If we call it no music, 
Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yes. There is some kind of music that is no music. Yeah, some presence. Yeah. It, 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 it isn't telling anything, but it's there. Um, so before we did it, I thought it would be just little, little, little things. Um, and of course, what we did is never big, it's, it's never super orchestral. Um, but there is a lot of emotion in every note already uh, for most of it. Um, because it's not one line, it's actually two lines yeah, or three, yeah. three small lines. And you know, one note is nothing, two notes can suggest something, but three notes can be the whole world. Yes, uh, for, our, yes. for our Western brain, yeah. which can already understand some kind of um, harmony and chords and some kind of meaning in the chords. When you have three notes, you have the whole chord. Um, for some reason, our brain understands. Um, it's not feelings. It's, it's not. It's not a state of mind. But the, the brain, when you mix it with, we, you mix these three notes with the with the screen. Um, it's completely. It's super super meaningful. Yes, and yeah. it's very, yeah. very difficult to explain why. Yes, uh, so you have to try. And I remember at many places when where it gets very emotional. Um, I remember when we were working with the orchestra. I was trying to calculate um, how much, yeah. how much of emotion it could allow because um, I didn't want it to be too little or too much. And this is. Yeah it's so it's such a challenge and it's so much fun to try and yes. to work on it work looking for the right amount and there is also there is something that it's, it's not always mentioned when talking about music is the volume that the music will be played yes exactly and 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 you know um we, we got a wonderful mixer and we knew that it's got, it was going to be really well done because it's so important that the music is in the right point yeah well i mean there the the, the the sound team was that that mixed it was amazing i'm going to show you a video one of my favorite times of the whole film this is driving up to your friend alfred's <laughs> cabin you and me i think we, you'd pick me up yeah 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 yeah, yeah you'd call yeah. me sound designer alfred yeah up in uh, a cabin outside of barcelona let's see where yeah it's in the mountains, and, uh, yes, yes. Yes, and uh, and this is you here, there, in this little tiny cabin up in the hills, and that's where. And this is like we have this, you know, pretty big movie, and the music's being made in some place like that, which is like a, it's basically a, like a little wooden hut with it was freezing cold. He had a tiny little stove, um, <laughs> <laughs> did not keep you warm. Um, but it was actually one of the most, I came out there for a day or so, it was one of the most rewarding experiences of the whole, of the whole project, actually. Just the, that time we got Thank to spend you. together, Thank when I think you. the kind of score really kind of, for all of us, kind of clicked. That's you and me. And <laughs> yeah. It was so much fun. Yes, indeed. Indeed. Yes, you, you, for me, it's always such, it's, it's a, it's an emotional experience to 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 do a movie, so, so that's why it was so wonderful. Because I think it was a project that it was important for everyone taking part in it. I mean, otherwise you wouldn't have. How many countries did you did you shoot? In? It's shot in three countries: uh, Brazil, uh, Jordan, and Thailand. Yeah, but it, all three countries in in in, in a corner of the world. It's not like you yes. shoot in. The very yeah, three different continents yeah it was a lot yeah, yeah. <laughs> three different continents and so many different locations and 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 so many different people that are in yeah. the movie i mean colors and, and 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 this is such an emotional experience anyway fernando it's great work i can't wait for people to hear your score uh you've done a lot of amazing films and i'm so proud that you're you're you you were the composer on this uh on sergio and uh and i'm i'm eager for people to to hear the film yeah, thank you so much it was a take care man thank you stay safe thank in the you.